Hello guys, I am the Electrical Runner, and it has been a while since I've made a video with me actually talking in it, but I'll get to that later. Right here that you're seeing on screen is Infamous 2, and I've decided to do a Let's Play of this, because it's my favorite game, and I figure with Infamous Second Sons coming out, it'll be a good way to just recap of the series, and maybe you can see some stuff, and I'll talk about Infamous Second Sons, and what I want in it, what I think, and some predictions and stuff. And I'm sorry if you could hear the audio, I'll try to turn that down right now, actually. But, um... Yeah, so I'm just gonna be doing this game, and about the- This is my favorite game anyway, because as a kid, like, if you ever played, uh, superpower, um, like, superhero games, or you just, like, you and your friends all get superpowers and you pick one to use, I always wanted, like, electricity, and so this game allows me to live out my fantasy, even my name, The Electrical Runner, which I hate. If I could change my name, I definitely would, <laughs> but my name, The Electrical Runner, comes from this game a lot, so, and this is the starting level, and it's just really cool, because, like, they use the starting level to just show off like all the powers from Infinite One. Like your regular bolt isn't the regular bolt, bolt. it's the megawatt hammer from Infinite One. So right now we're fighting the beast, and the beast is this guy, and as with any Let's Play, there's going to be spoilers, but I'm not going to use spoilers, and, and if I do say some spoilers, I'll tell you ahead of time, either by putting up a slide or actually just saying it. But the reason I haven't been uh, making videos, even though it's just because I've been playing other video games, and like I've been playing a lot of TF2, but my computer's not really good enough to record TF2. Like TF2 is not a com like a heavy game. Like you don't need a good computer to play it. But recording like any game, like even Minecraft, just sucks everything out of your computer. So like the reason with Minecraft was I was into Minecraft at that time. See like, but right here you can see the bees, and they just use this first level to show off all the graphics and the power and stuff, which is really cool. But anyway, back to the games I'm playing. Minecraft, I've been playing that a lot, so uh, that's why when I was um, playing uh, Minecraft, I made a lot of videos, because my computer could handle it. But um, yeah, so for this level, you just have to spam uh, um, lightning bolts and stuff, but like, just because my computer hasn't been good enough to record videos, but I've been playing a lot of Half-Life, actually. Half-Life's a really fun game. Uh, I, I'm trying to aim, but it's not running. Well, anyway, with Half-Life 2, I thought like people saying it was so good I thought that was all just like nostalgia and stuff but I played it it's so fun like it's incredibly fun it's an extremely fun game like one of the funnest ones I've ever played but oh yeah you can fly around this level see this game you get to do things you can never do the rest of the game like you can fly and you can just like shoot megawatt hammers with no you have no lightning meter like Cole uses his powers as a as to put a limit on the power to make it, the game actually challenging, they have like an electricity bar of how much electricity you have stored in you right now, because Cole's basically a... Cole McGrath is the main character, the guy I'm playing with right now. Cole McGrath is basically a walking battery, and so, um, he can only hold so much electricity. I just died on the first level. Wow. Yeah, he can't go into water also because he's a walking battery and he'll just charge in. And if he's like drained out of uh, electricity, they never really explain it. But oh well. But this is just a fun game and I've been playing a lot of... Oh, this is his coolest power right here. It's the strongest one where he basically just goes up to the sky and summons a lightning bolt. And they, this is just a really cinematic game. Which is why I like it so much. But yeah. So you defeat, quote unquote, um, the, bo the beast which is the guy I was just fighting, and I accidentally missed a lot of the, uh, um, the first cutscene. But anyway, the guy calling me right now is Zeke. If you see that little black bar on the right side of the corner, of the right side of the screen, um, Zeke, he's actually one of my favorite characters in this game because he's the most realistic, I'd say, like, because in the first game, spoilers for the first game, see, I'm doing the spoiler tag. But anyway, uh, for the first game, there's a thing where the ray Cole basically gets his powers from the ray sphere, which is if you're a conduit, which Cole is, conduit's only 5% of the population. So Cole activated the ray sphere, which basically sent off a nuclear bomb and destroyed six blocks of the city. But um he became really jealous of that. And this is why I think he's like the my favorite one of my favorite characters in this game, because he's the most realistic and he like he's just the most relatable actually like so he has an opportunity to hold the race here, and he chooses to push the race here and activate it to get powers. But since he's not a conduit, it had no effect on him. Broken my powers. And then, uh, 
See, this is really contradictory right here, because Cole's sitting in water. I'm just all over the place and talking about everything at once. But anyway, so Zeke, he's really relatable because he tried to get powers. He, like, was willing to sacrifice six blocks of people back in a really heavily and now um, dense city. Is which is cause, just because he is jealous. And then he has all these games where he, he, like, always says that he feels useless compared to Cole and Grath, which is understandable and stuff. Which just makes him really relatable and likable, People which is why he's one of my favorite characters of all time, fear. even. Like, uh, Cole's just, like, he's actually kind of plain. He's just, like, a badass, but... Others kept busy Delson Rowe in uh, Second Son. Let's talk about him, actually. Let's talk about Second Son. So, Second Son, the new character, Delson Rowe. I don't really I like him, powers to because he looks just like I was strong, a hipster punk I was guy with a chain. He I fights with a chain, it's just like emo and stuff, which is why well, I don't really like him, because Cole's just badass and tries change. to do everything for, like, good, and like, the next day I he's just, work. the way I he acts is just really likable, when Delson uh, Rowe, he, do anything to be friends he just like seems really be. snide and like, Agent I don't Cole know, gathered intelligence I don't really like him, but that might be what they're trying to, like, do. They're trying to make you not like him, maybe, but... I'm excited for that game. I'm glad it's not a launch title, because I do not want to get a PS4 on launch title. But Second Sons, I'm really excited for it. Like, he controls smoke, but they've revealed that, like, you're going to be able to control more than just smoke, which is going to be pretty cool. But they haven't revealed what else he's going to control, so... I've decided in this Let's Play that I'm going to be good. I'm going to use the good karma. I don't know why, I just like the blue lightning better, and I like being good in video games. Which is kind of weird, because, like, most people, when they have a choice, they always go evil. Like, I'm the only person I know that goes, plays as a good guy in Skyrim. Like, see, Fallout's people play good, because Fallout and Skyrim are made by the same company, and they're, like, really similar games, except for the settings. Which is why, like, but Fallout has a karma system, which then, like, Hello, can Cole. sort of, like, encourage people to be good. Sorry, I just hit the pause button. But, um, in Skyrim, they don't have anything like that, a karma system or anything, so you could just steal to no, um, consequence. But, like, I'm the only person I know who okay. plays good in Skyrim and doesn't steal. steal. I guess it's time to <sighs> just just drinking myself. some water. Tasty as fuck. Alright, so anyway, um... <laughs> What Zeke is introducing sure right here is the amp, which uh, is just basically like a I'll melee just... weapon for a coal. Give her a try. It's pretty badass, but oh, like, see right here what it does. Oh. Cool. What is that thing? I and it's just, the amp. it's really cool. But I have, I pre-ordered this you. game, so Thanks, I have a brother. bunch of like, have I could fun. replace it with this the samurai sword and stuff. They're just skins, but I'll probably use Sly's cane just because I like it the best. Um, here, let me uh, do that right now. I'm just gonna go on medium i'll go also to uh where is the stuff on numerate coal see i'm gonna use slice cane and I'll, let's turn it on hard actually and i'll put on subtitles for you guys because i know you guys i'm i know since it's a let's play and i'm talking over everything you guys might want to read what happens in the cutscenes so yeah so you could press square to swing the amp but I have an ant, I have a skin which turns into Sly's Cane from the Sly Cooper series, which is also a game made by Sucker Punch. A fun one too. Well, I've never really played funny? anything but the first one. So right now you're just in the bayou new, near New Marais, which is based off New Orleans. Um, yeah, you can use R3, R1, I mean, for static thrusters while you're jumping, which is like flying sort of. It's more gliding. Um, but yeah, I'm just see like when I play this game, I get. I get put in awe because I'm just like, the powers, they're so cool. But yeah. So once you get enough melee hits, you get that, you see that meter on the lower left hand part of my screen? It's like blue, it's half filled with blue in the top part, it's gray. Um, that charges up the more melee hits you get, and then once you can charge it up halfway, you can do a triangle, which gives you like a, set, a, a really cool, it's like a po more powerful hit. But yeah. So, in this game, you could heal yourself by draining electricity out of things, wherever the things are. So, right here. Which is a really cool thing, I just like how the lightning jumps to your body. So, this is the first karmatic choice presented to you in the game. You could charge it up and blow over the, like, the village, and kill everyone in there. Or you could just use it enough to lower the bridge. But, 
then you'd be saving the people in the village, but you would also have to fight the more people. So, I think in this game, actually, it's less black and white. In, uh, in the first game, Infamous 1, it was very, very black and white. Like, there wasn't any karma choices, which were just like, oh, I want to be good, so I'm just going to do this. But now, they tried to make it more black and white in this game. Like, now if you try to be evil, you get, like, you don't have to kill those people, but if you want to be good, you actually have to, like, try to be good. And actually, the majority in this of players cool, in this game were good, so yeah. So, for some reason, they haven't noticed me yet. Just get throw a grenade. You know, Alright, and this is another thing. Like, throughout the game in New Mar Marais, they just have uh, little things like that where you could use for good karma. Just like, for this opportunity, I just have to heal all of them. Because lightning, for some reason, it has no scientific basis. Gonna be but this game, like, Cole can do anything with lightning. Hey, he could heal I people. I guess sort of like Don't chest worry. paddles for a heart attack, but I doubt all these people have, like, stopped hearts. Or not chest paddles, you know, AED, or MRD is the chest paddles. Because uh, an AED is automated thing, whatever. I don't know, we had to take CPR in my school, it's a required class, so that's how I know this stuff. And then MED is uh, the manual, which would be the chest paddles. AED is uh, just like that thing you see in the school. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so Cole has a lot of cool powers. Oh, I couldn't do that thing where you press square and like slide down. So Cole hasn't unlocked all of his powers yet. I'm going to try to be playing this game like pretty cinematically for you guys, I guess. Um, where I just use like a wider range of powers and try to make it really cool. In my other Infamous 2 video, I did that, and I think I liked it a lot. It's fun for me, and it's fun to look at. But I only really have, like, two powers right now. I only have the grenade, and, uh... Do I have this? Yeah, I have that. But this is, like, pretty much useless, see? It just, like, pushes them out. Oh, I'm out of electricity. And electricity also heals you, so it's... There's, like, actually, like, incentives to get it, instead of just charging up your battery powers. I don't know if they're battery powers, but... You can increase those things at the top left hand of my screen. That's not my health. That's actually how much electricity I've stored in me. You can increase that by getting blast shards, and but which are just hidden throughout the city, which are basically pieces of the earth. I can't move. It's not letting me move. There we go. Um, blast shards are pretty much just uh, pieces of the earth that were charged up with through the ray sphere in the initial explosion in the first game, and then they scattered throughout everywhere. I don't know why they're in here. I'm pretty sure they're just like. What's his name? Wolf's collection. But yeah. So right now there's a lot of RPGs, which I'm pretty sure they used to introduce this power to you to like push out the RPGs. But yeah. So back to games I've been playing. I've already brought up the Half Life series, but I've also been playing The Last of Us, and that is insanely fun. Um, if you haven't played The Last of Us, you need to. It's made by the people that made Uncharted. See, I just blew up a tanker. To Kill them all, the but there weren't there wasn't but anyone on there, so I didn't get any head. evil karma. Okay, but last, uh, no one is clear. the Last of Us was made by the people that made Uncharted, which is already a really great game. Naughty Dog, they're one of the best studios, I think. Like Valve's up there too and stuff. <laughs> I sound like such a fanboy right now, but um, so yeah, Last of Us is just extremely fun. Although there are some complaints I have with the game, it's like. You can't just jump. It, like, I keep trying to play it like Friend, an Uncharted game. So yeah, here's the TV. Like Joseph Bertrand, he's I the main antagonist of this game. and So I'll try to keep these episodes like 25 sure. minutes long, and for we are sure. about 13 minutes into it. 14 actually right now. But, um, yeah, so Joseph Bertrand, he started the militia, which are these guys. Which are the guys I've been fighting, actually. They're just basically trying to go against conduits. And conduits are just people that could get powers, like Cole. Um, I don't know. There's no use to do that. And if you stand on wires, you could do this. And static... I don't know what they call But you could take cover by pressing square. And then you just gotta throw lightning. Or... Yeah, that's pretty much all you do in this game. Throw lightning. Hmm, where is everyone? Oh crap, that thing's gonna blow up. Is there anyone left on here? Alright, no. So I could disable the turret. Just by breaking it off. Cole's that strong that he could just tear apart a machine gun. 
So yeah, The Last of Us is insanely fun. I l love the relationships between the characters and stuff. It's just a really fun game. But yeah, I've, there's some complaints I have with it. Just like, I don't know, it's kind of easy. Except for the first level where they throw you in with the clicker and like, the 15 things, I don't know. It's just... But yeah, The Last of Us is just really fun. I think, I hate to use the word experience, but it really is an experience when I say, like, I don't like using the word experience when I describe video games, but The Last of Us is really just quite a bit an experience. So, in this level right now, this is going to be sort of... The first episode of a Let's Play is always boring, unless it's like Minecraft or something. Because... I just died! <laughs> first Let's Play episode of a, like a story game Let's Play like this, it's always pretty boring, because it's always the tutorial. And right now, they're just trying to teach me like the parkour. Actually, about the parkour, I'm kind of worried about Second Sons, because it looks like they're eliminating the parkour by at- because he could just teleport around everywhere, and I'm worried because the parkour is one of the funnest parts of this game. So, I'm just worried about that because I love the parkour in this game. It made it feel a lot more, uh, real. These guys are so stupid. Um, because it's just because the AI in this game is not the smartest, admittedly. I'm gonna throw a grenade. See, you can't use the turrets either to just mow them down. See, Cole can't, like, really use guns because the electricity on his hand will fry the gunpowder and it'll blow up in his hand. See, they have an ex explanation for, like, everything in this game. Like, you can't sit in cars. Like, it's kind of stupid, though, because it limits you a lot, but they explain everything you can't do. So right now, we are entering into New Marais, okay, which guys, is based off of New Orleans. Down. I already said that. Nice. We will New Orleans, I don't know how to say it. Lab. Like... Well, I don't know how you guys want me to say it. I, I'm pretty sure people native to New Orleans say Norlands or whatever. So we are still in the tutorial level like of the game. Uh, Not level, but the never. tutorial part of the game. So right now I'm pretty sure we're just gonna enter a cutscene. Yep, we did. Um, I'll just talk through them, because I have subtitles yeah. up there for you guys to hear, read. Yeah, I remember um, Anyway, so the cutscenes in this game, the way they're done is they're done in like a comic book style. Cause this game was inspired by comic books actually, and it's really fun. But um, oh, it was great. See, in any other city, you start to climb, you got maybe ten minutes before the cops show up. But here, I'm just gonna shut up for this part of the cutscene. All right. Place was lawless. It was raunchy, and except for the hangovers, it was goddamn heaven. But not anymore. Now these redneck assholes strut up and down the street, eyeballing everybody, looking for deviants to punish. Tension's thick. The people here, they're ready to explode. Somewhere in this gorgeous corpse of a town is the key to amping up my powers. These pricks, they're gonna try to get in my way, try to kill me to keep their town pure. I say bring it. But yeah, you could see how it was inspired by comic books. Even in the first game, it was way more inspired by comic books. But... Zeke, you move that boat for a sign of trouble. Aye, super spy! Aye, you expecting a little action? This here, right well, here, is Lucy Quo. She's just some you person. You'll, know, she gets I'm more pissed. involved in the story <laughs> as it goes on, so... Why you know, you we're still... This is gonna basically teach camp? me to use all my, all my secondary easy. powers. Hey. Like, um, it teaches me to use grenades to and stuff, so, yeah, first episode Good. of the Let's Play is always That's kind of boring, except for, like, you made the right choice. M even Minecraft's I'm kind impressed. of boring, because it's just like, like a Let's Plays, I don't like <laughs> Let's Plays, honestly, even though I'm doing one right now. I don't like, hey, the only well, perks of them is that you could get a lot of videos out, and they're Good. easy to make Very. and edit, but... Unfortunately, I'm like, I don't like them because one, they don't get a lot of views, right? and also, yes. I just but the would rather do something else, something like an explanational video or a tutorial okay, or something. I don't really like Let's Plays because they seem kind of lazy and they're overdone. See, right, right here, although they um teach me to use the grenades, but I'll start updating this like once a week about. I don't know how often you guys want me to update it. I'm gonna start making more YouTube videos. I know I've taken a huge break, but I've just had a hankering. Yes, I just said hankering. I just have an, a hankering to uh, make YouTube videos. Like, I wanna make a lot of tutorial Minecraft videos and Redstone videos. So I'm gonna start doing that again. I know it's summer, so I have no excuse really other than like hanging out and stuff, but I just like playing video games on my own, which is why I've been taking a break on my YouTube channel right now, but I'm gonna stop doing that. 
So right now we have to follow. Here they're gonna teach me to use my uh electric blast, whatever it is. See, you just push out the car. It's really weak. I think it was actually stronger in the first game. Um, alright, so oh crap, I don't have sticky grenades yet. So this guy's gonna shoot an RPG at me. Or not, he's just gonna fall down. So this game is just beautiful in the way it's like done. I love it all. And it adds a lot of immersion because they have subways, like the store subway, like the sandwich shop in here, and like although it's played in advertising because I know Subway had a promotion with uh Infamous 3. He's out of range, crap. Um I know they had a promotion to uh I'll find it with Infamous 2, like I'm just gonna take this electri electricity out of these guys' cars so they can't move. Well, um, I know they had a promotion with, like, Infamous 2 or whatever, but, like, you could find Let's Play Shops in here. Let's Play Shops? You could find, uh, Subway Shops in here, and it's just... I don't know, I... It's just immersive, actually. It has the opposite effect. <coughs> so this guy's stupid and gonna shoot an RPG at me point blank. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I've played this game so many times, I shouldn't really know by now. But it's been a while actually since I've played it. So he's dead. Can I shoot through that glass under me? No, I can't. So yeah, basically what I do in this game is I just spam the lightning bolt. But I'll try to use my secondary power so it could be the video could be more interesting to you guys. But I really love this game if you haven't told by now. <laughs> so we just gotta shoot these guys. Oh crap, he has got a grenade. So I'm just gonna throw a grenade. And then he's screw this guy over. See, I'm pretty much invincible to the first level. Even though I've died like six times. <laughs> oh crap, I'm gonna die. I need I need to heal. I need to heal. I died. Wow. Alright, anyway, so after this level, I'm gonna end the video because we're at 22 minutes right now, so. I'm just gonna end it after this level, after I get the blast cores, and yeah. But we still got some minutes left. Cut that out, because that was actually really stupid. So, if you hear cuts in the audio, that's just like say something stupid, because it's been a while since I've done a video, as you guys all know. All my videos have been like me not talking, and that's actually because I didn't have a mic, but now I do have a mic, so I should be able to get more videos out. That's why all my videos were just like short 30 second clips of me not talking. But, now that I have a mic, I should be able to get more videos out. And, yeah. So, but, I'm kind of rusty on the Let's Play part, so if I just, like, if you hear an awkward pause, that's just because I said something stupid and cut it out. And that's also what, if these things don't match up, if I go like, fuck you, randomly, that means, like, later in the video, I'm going to kill someone and be like, fuck you. But I'll try to keep those down to a minimum. So I'm just gonna snipe these guys out. See, this game really becomes quite a like a drag in the beginning, other than that one level. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> All right, so after I kill these this one guy, I'm just gonna end the video right here. So, thanks for watching, guys. My name is the Electrical Runner. Remember to like and subscribe the video if you did. If you did like it, like yeah, I don't wanna beg for likes. I don't really like people that do that. But subscribe and like if you like the video. And thanks for watching. Bye.